since Saturday, have you had conversations with the chairman about your future? No, the chairman and I talk all the time, but there's been no specific talk about the future, no. It kind of escaped your attention that the atmosphere has turned a bit toxic at Sellers Park. Mm. And that must, even after 48 years in the, in the job, that must still hurt. Yes. I mean, we, we're in the, in, the, in the business, really, or in the job to, A, try and coach a team to be the best team it can be and win as many matches as it can, and most important of all, to give the fans something that they want to see and can be proud of. Now, when the fans have turned against us as they have, that's the worst possible scenario. And you can understand it because, you know, we haven't really got ourselves going after the, the Brentford game and kicked on from there with wins which they hoped for. And we've had two heavy defeats. But it's a fact of life. It's a, it's a situation that is there. We can't change it. No words of mine or no explanations are going to change it. That's where we are. And we've got to get on with it and keep doing the best we can for them. But we understand that, that you know, they, they at the moment are not particularly happy with the situation and they're letting us know they're not happy with the situation and we have to take that on board, take it on the chin because it's their right to do so. And most importantly of all, we certainly can't do without them. In this current situation we have where so many of our better players in our opinion are more celebrated players are not available, which can make us a better team, as we showed against Sheffield United, I think, when they're not there, the players who are now going to come in in their place, they need even more encouragement, more support than, than ever. So we can only hope that the fans will understand the situation and will give us that support and that backing which they've always given in the five years that I've been at the club. There are rumours doing the round, which I'm sure you've avoided, that's probably best to avoid them, of managers being lined up to take over from you. Is that just something you shrug your shoulders at and say la vie, that, that happens? Or, or does that undermine you and do you find that hurtful? Well, I think speculation, there's always going to be people who are having a bad run with their clubs and at that time there's going to be speculation about the future of those people, i.e. those managers, so why should I be any different to that? Um, so it's not in my control that it, 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 it doesn't affect my daily work when I, when I come in here it doesn't stop me working with the players as I think we should work with the players it doesn't stop me selecting the team it doesn't select me uh, selecting the tactics and trying to get the team in the best possible shape to play the game this is from the outside and uh, one has no option but to let those things pass by and to accept them as a fact of football life